This is Express for the Condense, very special edition. This is Luis Guzman. I'm JB. Once again, Luis, thanks for being with us. How you oh, been? I've been real good, man. What's been going on? Well, I've uh, been promoting my movie Turbo, and uh, I play a guy named Angelo, who's the greatest taco maker in the world. Really? Yeah. My brother's trying to promote a snail. I don't understand that, but <laughs> at the end, uh, it kind of all works out. Uh, and it's a happy ending? Oh, yes, absolutely. Turbo, July 17th. Yep. You'll enjoy it, believe me. Uh, it if looks you hilarious. Don't, if you don't, call me. Everybody? Call, no, just you. Only, okay. only you can call me. I will, I'll get the number. Oh, 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 it, oh! There you go. Number 51, Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams, my man. Luis, do you know Bernie? Yeah, man. I did a, I did a fundraiser for the uh, Kids Bay Boys and Girls Club, and he performed with his band. Oh, that's right. He's now spent a lot of time since being a Yankee yeah. playing uh, guitar. He's an amazing guitarist. Oh, have you ever heard him play? I have heard him play. He's I've great. had the opportunity. He's phenomenal. He's what, great. Uh, was it, what's he like, what was it like to meet him? Oh, he's great, man. Very humble guy, you know, very down to earth. But I, I, I'm, I'm mesmerized right now because I should maybe talk to him if the Yankees need a little bit of help right now. Maybe he might make himself available. <laughs> it seems like he's got some time. He's playing yeah. softball games. Bro, he just hit a home run. <laughs> Now you were, are, are you a Yankee fan? I'm a Yankee fan. Been a Yankee fan all my life. All your life? Yeah. I'm a Mets fan when they make it into the playoffs. That is Frank Thomas. Is that Frank? Oh, Frank. That is Frank putting one. Come on, now. Far. They are abusing that ball. <laughs> what is her ERA up to now? It's, uh, it's actually infinity because there are no outs yet. Oh, okay. There's no outs in this, in this thing? It actually becomes, oh, there's one out. No, Ricky let off with the weak well, one. Yeah. So her ERA is down out of infinity, roughly down to several thousand. Several thousand. Wow. When you were growing up a Yankee fan, what was, what was the experience like? Uh, well, I used to sneak into the bleachers when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. We used to send a decoy to uh, kind of distract the 80,000-year-old security man. And, uh, and uh, we all sneak into the bleachers, and we go into the bleachers and watch the game, and then... The best part about being a kid in New York City back in those days, we would jump over the railing, run around the field after the third out of the ninth inning, and they let us out through the bullpen tunnel. Wow. Yeah. Was, just use the field to get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know what the great thing about it was? I mean, we really have just appreciated it. Cause like Mickey Mantle had just left center field, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, it wasn't about tearing up the field. It was like my idol was right here and just – Sharing that kind of uh, real estate out there was great. That's so Mickey. Was Mickey your favorite guy? Who's your favorite player? My yeah. favorite player on yeah. the Yankees? I used to love the second baseman named Horace Clark. I oh. thought Horace was great. You know? Yeah. And uh, I think Joe Pepitone was great. He had great hairstyle. That's all you need, really, in the end. Hairstyle. I know. You want me to call Joe? I might need to. I know. Right? I know. I'm having a problem with my barber right now. Well, he'll show up, and, you know, he works out of his trunk, so. Oh, he just travels now? Is that he, what he's doing? He travels, yeah. Oh, right. is that a fair ball? No, that's going. Oh! No, he didn't. A great effort you from Wedge. Playing uh, as a representative of the Wounded Warrior Project, in fact. Making an incredible yeah. effort. You have done, so you've done work for the Wounded Warriors. You, you actually played in a celebrity softball tournament. We, we, we just played a softball game against the Wounded Warriors up in Burlington, Vermont. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be very pleased to know that I went one for two. One for two. I think what's important, though, is who'd you go one for two against? I, I, was, I, I was Bill Lee's battery mate. Oh, you were he was pitching, he was pitching to, me. to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So Bill Lee, yeah. Used to pitch for the Expo and yeah. the Red Sox. Bill Spaceman Lee. So Spaceman. It, was it, and you said every once in a while he would just uncork one? He uncorked one that I didn't know, like an 80 mile an hour pitch. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> and I said, dude, come on, man. What are you doing? So he goes, next time. Well, for me, next time didn't come because Mother Nature took over and she was just raining buckets. But, you know, I mean, it was a great thing playing with the Wounded Warrior guys. You know, I totally admire them for their courage, you know, for what they've done for our country. The sacrifice, absolutely. That's right. And uh, 
they come to play. Those guys really do come to play. And that, that's great. So that it's, it was in Vermont because that's where you are now, if people yeah. do or do not, do not know that. I am the biggest Puerto Rican lamb baron in Vermont. <laughs> not so many people is that, know that. Is that what you're... Um, is on your card now, by the way, Luis Guzman, biggest Puerto Rican land baron in Vermont. Did you see that? Somewhere? I did. I thought I did. Uh, I thought it was more of a. It was real. It was it's a good real, card. man. That's a good it's card. Real. I, I don't like know that. any other Puerto Rican that owns 600 acres in Vermont. What What made that? How did that happen? What made you head for the hills of Vermont? Well, I had to file my taxes every year. And I was kind of getting really tired of that. Uh huh. So I said, where can I go where they won't find me, the IRS, you know? <laughs> I do maybe should let you know that this will air. Oh, this will air? Okay, well, the real reason that I went to Vermont was uh, I love it up there. Peace and quiet, fresh mm -hmm. air. I just thought it was a great environment also to raise my children. Mm. I have five children and uh, three girls, two boys, and... They learn how to snowboard and ski and ride horses and go on hikes and provided them with maple syrup and uh, a lot of county fairs. And, uh, so the essentials. Yes. You know what I mean? Living the life of... Uh, oh, okay. there you go. Now, who, who was that leading? That, that Ozzy? It looks like Frank uh, Thomas is on the hill and Ozzy Smith did lead that inning off. Way to hit the other way. Way to hit the other way. Now Kevin James at the oh. plate. Why don't you take a little play blood play over here for Okay, us? well, here comes Kevin. He almost didn't make it today, but he, he kind of rolled in. I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Here's, oh, babe. Oh, he backed him up off the play. I think a little intimidation is going on here right now. Here we go, Kevin. Oh, I think he's lying, trying to lure him or something. Oh, oh, he thought about it. He thought about <laughs> it. Please don't walk him. Please don't walk him because Kevin will be highly offended. Come on, baby, swing it. Yeah. See, he don't want to take a walk. He don't want. He he, he want to like look good. He, the he, fans are here. Yeah, they want to see him swinging. He, Frank Thomas seems a little comfortable on the. Uh, hard wooden platform known as the pitching rubber in this game. Is, is that what that is? That is what this is. I thought that was like an awkward looking surfboard or something. Oh. Oh. Oh, my man. Okay, it happens, bro. Sometimes you do hit it to the catcher. Sometimes you do. Uh, have you ever hit it to the catcher? I have uh, been, uh, I've gotten outs in softball in almost every conceivable way. No way. I know. I know you take with this haircut, I could play softball, but it's not true. I should give you a scholarship to the Louis Guzman School of Ultimate Softball. I, I, I sign me up. I oh, will take yeah, it. Oh yeah, man, for sure. Is it in Vermont? Is it's it on the Vermont. farm? It's in Vermont. Yeah, we usually like practice. Oh, oh. Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza. Did you see that? That was effortless. In his return to City Field, an easy swing. And two runs in. That was e that was too easy. Did you see that swing? I did. And he just—it's a nice easy walk around the softball bases. Yeah. Not yeah. too much. Did you? Was there a player you loved watching? I mean, I know we talked about some of your favorite guys, but a guy who had a swing like that, or just something you remember watching? A player, a player that I used just to love watching. Played. You know, I used to like guys like Clemente, of course. Mm -hmm. I thought Clemente was was incredible. Um, Ricky Henderson, man, he used to create all this uh, havoc on the field. Mm -hmm. Remember a guy named Bert Campanaris? I do. Oh, my goodness. He used to create havoc all the time for the Yankees. Ooh. I'm going to say that was an error. That will go in the scorecard yeah, as an error. Yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. Strawberry I, now at first. Is, is that? Oh, Darryl's on first. Yeah. Darryl's a great guy, man, by the way. I, I did a... The same fundraiser that I did with Bernie Williams, Daryl showed up. We actually did like a little play together, and I gotta tell you, Daryl does have some acting skills. Really? Yeah. And it was an actual, it was a play. It was a play. Where did it take? What happened? Where was? What was the game? It, it was like a ten-minute play that somebody wrote, and we were just oh 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 oh. I hope somebody oh catches that. Or, ow ow. Have you ever caught like a line drive in in, in the stands? I have not. 
I've been nowhere near any foul activity. How about you? I did, man, and I think I, my hand was in, in ice for hours after that. Uh-oh. That one is going to carry. Wow. Is that? Now, who, who hit that ball? I believe that was the Hawk. Is that the Hawk? Was that the Hawk? Yeah, that was the Hawk. He's back. The NL jumps up on top really quickly, 4-3 in the bottom of the first. Really? Yeah. It's 4-3 already. It's, uh, you know what? Three. You know what? I hope, I hope that, uh, is anybody warming up in the bullpen? <laughs> the problem with having Frank pitch is nobody's going to go out and say it's time to leave. He's just too big a dude. You think so? I, I wouldn't. Well, look at Frank. He's having trouble. He's having control issues. Oh, Josh is up. Josh that almost made that great catch in the field. Yeah. Come on, Josh. You almost made that great catch now. Oh. Yeah, Frank's having control issues out there. You know what? You got his uh, cell phone number? Maybe we could call him up over there. Or give something. him a text. Everybody walks around with a cell phone. Even baseball players. It's true. And they were right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful foul ball. That See? was. Cut back out of play. That, that, that ball had like a lot of movement to it. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Frank. Ooh. Okay, he's hitting it everywhere but on the other side of the line. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll have a great time here, by the way. I want you to know I, that. Well, thank you. We are, too. Thanks I'm for getting, being with I'm us. I'm getting a big Oh, oh, oh! That's up the middle. Big hit for Josh Wedge. You see, my goal in my life is to rearrange my backyard so I have this kind of a feel. Do you want the 50,000 seats, too, or are you just going to do no, the I don't. Um, no, everybody could just bring their own chair. Okay. Blankets, stuff like that, you know? Uh, I'm down with that. We'll visit. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. With the 600 acres, what are you farming up there primarily, by the way? Uh, we do maple syrup. Okay. You know, I got a bunch of horses. I got my, like, a little garden, you know, tomatoes, lettuces, and the, cucumbers. And the Luis Guzman camp for ultimate softball. Yeah, awesome. man. Okay. So my own field of dreams, so to speak. I dig it. There's two outs. There's two outs in this inning. Okay, why did you do that? I wrote notes to myself. Those, those, those are notes? Those are notes. Those are that hashtags. Was, that's I've never seen anybody write notes like that in my life. These are, it's a Morse code I have for myself. Okay. And what it means is I have to ask you now about the incredible movie you got coming up, opening July 17th, Turbo. Yeah. What, what was the most fun about doing that particular movie? Well, I tell you, you're, you're in a booth, and you're hanging out alone in the booth, and... Mm -hmm. You're talking into a mic that doesn't talk back to you. The only thing that you hear is the director talking to you. So, you know, you, you're like in a booth literally, like, literally four or five hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first half hour that you record, you kind of throw away because you're just warming up your voice and you go back to it again. But for me, the most thrilling thing actually is seeing how well they put the film together with your voice and all mm -hmm. that stuff, how it flows, you know. Yeah. Um, the... Uh, the uh, the animation, the animation effects. The music in this movie, by the way, is great. Is it really? Yeah, and we got a great cast. You know, we got Snoop Dogg in it, Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Pena. Uh, um, okay, a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of really Michelle, good people. Michelle Rodriguez. All right. You know, Ryan Reynolds. And it's the story of a snail that becomes fast. Is that what I'm getting from the trailer? Yeah, man. Uh, you know what it is, and like a lot of people don't realize this, but even though the snail shows up to us and it has superpowers, mm -hmm. uh, it was my magic ingredient. Because I, I sell tacos in the movie. Yes. You know, I have a taco. You are the world's best taco. Oh, my goodness. You know, you know I, I tell you what I use. I use uh, uh, Aztec, uh, Aztec sea salt. Okay. Okay. An excellent sea salt. That's right. Uh, I use cactus oil. Delicious. Cactus oil. Have you tried that? No. Oh, you, you have to. I should. You okay. have to. Cactus oil, and then I'd have some of that magic cilantro. It's magic cilantro? Magic cilantro. It, is that available in a store? No, it's only in my backyard. Oh. Only in my back, back, backyard. So it's, okay. Yeah, I grow it right next to the tomato. 
Which are, by, by the way, heir, heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom tomatoes. That's the, heirloom. They are. That's the best kind of loom, by the way, that, the heirloom. Well, you know you know what makes it an heirloom? If I you, do if not. If you grow it for more than 10 years, they become an heirloom. Is that what it is? Yeah, man. Well, there you go. Have you, you been pass growing it down? anything for 10 years? I have not. Okay, all right, well. <laughs> I have, no, nothing. Really? Sadly. It's okay. Thank you. I'm going to send you my uh, garden handbook. <laughs> you're, you're doing a lot of it. Yes, I'm gonna start public. It should be published like for next spring. Garden handbook, softball camp. The Louis Guzman garden handbook. Yeah. That's how you get the magic cilantro. Dig it. There you go. You know, here's what I, here's what surprised me about not surprising, but was well, in addition to all the awesome farming that you're doing, uh, the Vermont House of Representatives. Yeah. HCR 304 in Vermont. Yes. Concurrent House resolution that basically made it a law to wish you well. That was pretty awesome. They did that, right? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Look it up, folks. HCR 304 out of Montpellier, Vermont. I think that's how you say Look it. Look it up. It's unreal. It is a real thing, folks. My, my tax money at work. Oh, did <laughs> so I say that? <laughs> well, we'll ask my Well, I'm, I'm honored. I mean, a lot of great people in Vermont. There are, including... Oh, what's going on there? Luis Guzman is going to be on? out. It's now time. It is? It's now time for our game while we watch this game. It's called Start, Bench, Cut. Okay. Are you prepared? Start, Start bench. bench, Cut. Okay, there you go, doing those, those little... I know. Here we go, I'm ready. My, my nervous tick. Okay. Uh, so start means they're in the lineup every single day. You want them on your team all the time. Bench means you want them available on the roster. Cut means they're gone. They're at the stadium. Gonzo nope. Manzo. Gonzo Manzo. We gave them one Metro card with one that's ticket right, on it. One right. way out of one here. One way. And it shreds at the end. Okay. You've done uh, various animated voices, including Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So here is your first start bench cut as another ball is launched. Okay, here start we go. Start bench cut. PS3, Xbox, Wii. Bench. Bench which one? Oh, 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 okay. Oh. So one is a start, one is a bench, and one oh, is a cut. Oh, okay. Start, bench, cut. Okay. PS3, Xbox, Wii. Wii, start. Uh, PS3, bench. And we're cutting the Xbox. We're cutting the Xbox. You yeah. like the Wii. As we say, we're pulling the plug. Ooh. Ow. Well said. Here we go. You were in the movie Carlito's Way. Okay. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah. Okay. I've good. heard that. That's good. <laughs> in that movie was Al Pacino. He's an Oscar star. So here's your Oscar star start bench cut. Start bench cut Pacino, Nicholson, Robin Williams. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Right off the bat, right off the bat, I'm cutting Pacino. He was like, he was gonna leave me in the movie, man. Okay. You saw that? He made I, other plans without me. He did make other plans. And then Robin Williams, I start, and Nicholson, I'll bench. All right, there, there we you have. go. There you go. It's just like that, folks. Start bench cut. Paul Thomas Anderson has cast you in several movies. Yes. Start bench cut. These three movies: Boogie Nights, Magnolia, Punch Drunk Love. Okay. We're starting Punch Drunk Love, we're benching Boogie Nights, and we're cutting Magnolia. And can you explain? Huh? Could you explain Really? Those really? Are you kidding me? I'm just That curious. was like the toughest choice you gave me right the there, start, man. You'd like I punch think that is so unfair. It's not, I didn't say this I game is fair. I, I think we should bench two of those cats, man. I can't, I can't cut, I can't cut Magnolia. They're, I know. they're classic. You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Don't Sorry, Paul. I love you. You know that. Come on. It's all on me, Paul. All right, you are a Yankee fan. Yes, sir. Start, bench, cut. Lou Gehrig, Derek Jeter, Joe Pepitone. Okay. Uh, okay, Joe, we're cutting you. That's it. That, that was easy. Uh, starting Jeter, benching Gehrig. All right, you're still That's not a bad bat to bring off the bench, by the way. Uh, it's not. I think you're in good shape. And finally, Turbo is a movie about a snail. Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. We're going to do a slow things theme. Start, bench, cut. A tortoise, a sloth, and the results on a medical test. 
Okay, we're going to cut the medical test. Good choice. Okay. We're going to start the tortoise. And we're going to bench. Sloth. Yeah. That Make that easy for me. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. It means so much to me. I, I, I tell you, man. Do I get like a driver's license or a pilot license after this test? After that test? No, you have successfully graduated from Start Bench Cut Academy, uh, though. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Congratulations. How did I do? I mean, you, the, uh, that, that's what, what are the results? I mean, what are, yeah, that explains those lines. 99.99%. Oh, okay. There Joe you go. Pepitone hurt his, it hurt his feelings. Joe, so. You know, but Joe Pepitone cuts hair, and everybody grows hair, and there's always going to be hair, so he shouldn't be sad about anything. There you go. You know, for sure. Start Bench Cut, Luis Guzman. Thank you. Somebody's going to get a hit here, I think. Oh, somebody. Oh! Shady Finch. Flies out the left field. Ricky does what Ricky do. Ricky does what Ricky do. What else? So, Turbo is out when this is live and coming up. But what else you got going on? What's going on with you? Um, I have uh, with the Miller, with uh, Jennifer Anderson and Jason Sudeikis. Comes out in August. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, my first lead in the movie, a comedy called Aztec Warrior. That comes out in February of 2014. February 2014? Yes, sir. How much fun was that, the first lead? Uh, it was great. Yeah. You know, um, I play the washed-up wrestler. Who, my sidekick is a little person, and, um, you know, we're battling evil. Oh, there's evil battling. Oh, yeah, man. That's a big-time, really beautiful evil battling going on. Dig that. And, oh. And, um... We filmed that last year in New Orleans, that we uh, just did some additional shooting in Mexico City. Oh, who? Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Whoa, oh. communication problems. Oh. Okay. So that was good. This is now George Lopez. Here comes For George. play by play, Luis Here. Guzman, take it away. Here goes Jorge Lopez, ladies and gentlemen. They, 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 oh, he, he, he looks a little cocky up there right now. I, I, he's scoping out the field. Maybe he's thinking, man, I wish I could hit it past. Well, we'll see. He's wearing hey. number 66. Number 66. Okay, there, there it is, George. Oh, Georgie! Okay, thank you, Jorge. <laughs> I, think, I think his golf swing is actually better than his softball swing. <laughs> But don't tell them I said that. Oh, it's already on air? Too oh, late. too bad. That's, okay, there's no, no going back. back. Oh, who's this? This is uh, the winner of the All-Star uh, Fun Run and 5K fundraising competition. A representative of the organization that raised the Rose funds. One swing, one out. Way to go. It is now time for three up, three down with Luis Guzman. Here's the board. Notice it's new. It's fancy. It's got more stuff going on. We've laid out nine baseball terms for you to choose from. Will you please read those aloud for our fans at home? Chin music. Dealing. Foul ball. In the gap. Swinging for the fences. Down the middle. Magic number. High hard one. And go the distance. Those are the nine terms you have to choose from. I will read you. I will bring up three topics of some sort. Okay. You will put down three labels as fans cheer Luis Guzman from outside. Oh, the well, that guy was just messed up. He goes, who's that? <laughs> it's, also, it's okay. I've that, been there in, before. In, that is cheering you, out have here. Have you ever gotten that? Like, who's oh, that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much most of my career. Who is that guy? Oh, man. Right, I know. So to hear that. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Prepared. Here it is. Before you had... Uh, huge success as an actor. You, in fact, worked as a youth counselor at Henry Street Settlement. I did. What was that period of your life like? Luis Guzman. Okay, it was... It was... It was... Right there. Swing for the fences. Yeah. It was the best job I ever had. Helping people, helping young people to help themselves. Well said, sir. Thank you. That's a beautiful thing. When you decided to buy 600 acres in 
That was a Ricky Henderson hitting a monster shot. That was. And he celebrated so much he almost ended up in the first row of the stadium. Did, did you see that? I did. Oh, he got some swagger going right there. Oh, Ricky. This is the longest trot around a softball field in modern history. He's been, like, running around, what, 15 minutes now? <laughs> Lord. Okay, so here Your we go. Three movies have come out since that started off. Here's, uh, uh, oh, when you decided to buy the acres in Vermont. Yes. That period of your life. Yes. What is the term that matches that? Oh, that's easy. It does. In the gap. In what way? In the gap. In the gap of what? In the gap. I mean, there's so much gap out oh, there, so much space well out said. there. It's in the gap. I'm a little bit slow. Well said. That yes. is in the gap. Thank you. We are two up out of our three. And finally, your overall acting career to this point. Okay. Ah, beautiful. Go for the distance, baby. That Go career is distance. going the distance. That's right. Well done. My man. Luis Guzman, that's you, three you, you asked really good questions. I'm really proud of you. That's really all I ever wanted to hear. Right on. Luis Guzman.